Welcome back. It is nice to meet you again here. Hope you are doing well. Please join me, let's start our exploration. The black-tailed prairie dog is a rodent of the family Sciuridae found in the Great Plains of North America from about the United States-Canada border to the United States-Mexico border. Unlike some other prairie dogs, these animals do not truly hibernate. The black-tailed prairie dog can be seen above ground in midwinter. Prior to habitat destruction, the species may have been the most abundant prairie dog in central North America. It was one of two prairie dogs described by the Lewis and Clark expedition in the journals and diaries of their expedition. They are generally tan in color, with lighter colored bellies. They may have color variation in their pelt, such as dark fur on their back in black and brown tones. Their tails have black tips, from which their name is derived. Adults males are typically heavier than females. The black-tailed have black long claws used for digging. The body of the black-tailed prairie dog is compact, and the ears are small and close to the head. They are diurnal. Above-ground activity is reduced when rain or snow is falling and during days. During the winter months, they do not fully hibernate. They continue to leave the burrow to forage, but will enter a state of torpor at night to conserve energy. Torpor is categorized by a drop in metabolism, heart rate and respiration similar to hibernation, but is involuntary and shorter in duration. On average, black-tailed prairie dogs will lose 20% of their body weight during the fall and winter seasons when they go through bouts of torpor. As winter progressed, the amount of time spent in torpor increases. Between different colonies the overall time spent in torpor varies, independent of prairie dog body mass. This may be due to weather during the previous growing season. As black-tailed prairie dogs receive most of their water from their diet, in years with poor rainfall, the black-tailed prairie dogs spend more time in torpor. They are native to grassland habitats in North America. They inhabit shortgrass prairie, mixed grass prairie, sagebrush steppe, and desert grassland. Habitat preferences are influenced by vegetative cover type, slope, soil type, and amount of rainfall. Their foraging and burrowing activities influence environmental heterogeneity, hydrology, nutrient cycling, biodiversity, landscape architecture, and plant succession in grassland habitats. They are selective opportunists, preferring certain phenological stages or types of vegetation according to their needs. When forage is stressed by grazing, drought, or herbicides, they change their diets quickly. Grasses are preferred over forbs, and may comprise more than 75% of their diets, especially during summer. Western wheatgrass, buffalo grass, blue grama and sedges are preferred during spring and summer. Scarlet globe mallow and Russian thistle are preferred during late summer and fall, but are sought out during every season. During winter, plains prickly pear, Russian thistle, and underground roots are preferred. Shrubs such as rabbit brush, winter fat, saltbush and sagebrush are also commonly eaten. Water, which is generally not available on the short grass prairie, is obtained from vegetation such as plains prickly pear. Cutworms, grasshoppers and old or fresh American bison scat are occasionally eaten. The most common predators are coyotes, American badgers, bobcats, golden eagles, ferruginous hawks, red-tailed hawks, and prairie rattlesnakes. Although now very rare, Black-footed ferrets were once a major predator of the black-tailed prairie dog. I am very happy that you were with me till the end. I will wait for your next visit. Take care and be happy.